Hi Geminis, welcome to your reading. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever placement Gemini. All right, so we're gonna do things a little bit different here. Got some dice in my hands. We're gonna roll this and however many cards come out is however many tarot cards come out for your reading, all right? So here we go. We have three and one, so you get four cards. Very interesting. So I feel like the number four is going to resonate big time for you. Um, it is definitely associated with the archangels. So if you believe in um, the archangels, they are there to help you. you. All you ever need to do is just ask, okay? So bottom of the deck and the overall energy, this is crazy. This is crazy as F, Gemini, four of swords, all right? Again, with the four, all right? So universe is asking you, take a break, take a rest, all right? Angels are there to protect you, to guide you through. You just need to leave the, like, you just need to trust in the universe that it is there to guide you and protect you, okay? So the first card we have out is the Heart of Cups, which is also the Queen of Cups. We have that Four of Pentacles again with that four. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we end with the Spirit of, of Swords, which is the King of Swords, okay? So I feel like there is a water sign in your life or you may have water uh, in your chart. A water sign could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So there is somebody that is that you feel is very emotional, sensitive. You're holding on to that person, okay? A sensitive person that you hold on to. You want to, to work things out with and you wanting to communicate with, okay? Now, for those of you not dealing with that, so I feel like this water, like this is like feminine energy, all right? So feminine energy, you're holding back your tears. You're holding on to your tears. All right, working through um, looking like making it. So say you're a sensitive type of Gemini. All right, <laughs> a sensitive type of Gemini. And um, you've been holding back your emotions, holding on to your emotions. But you, what you've been working on is working on um, cutting out your emotions, not putting your emotions into the equation. Yes, your emotions count, but you're trying to look at straight facts, okay? You're working on looking at things clearly. You're working on communicating things very clearly, all right? And I also feel like there is going to be a phone call, a conversation with a potential person that will hire you, okay? I see a boss here. There's in the boss and work, okay? A boss work um, your emotions holding your emotions back this brings you really happy good news okay really good news so that four of Pentacles with that eight of Pentacles that means there are two things in your life that you are working on Gemini okay that's very beautiful two things that you're working on two things that you're trying to build a foundation upon all right whatever that is it could be your emotional foundation and your uh, like logical foundation your communication foundation there's something that you're working on within communication and sensitivity as well okay or even just connecting with your emotions okay um let's see what else for some of you i feel like there could have been a mother fa a figure or a father figure that may have went to the hospital or got sick they are going to get better okay i do see things um they need to like adjust something in their life um something that they've been emotionally holding on to okay so say for instance uh you have a, like a parent all right so you have a mother figure or a figure of a mother here and they've been holding on to a lot of stress and anxiety um, they've been holding emotions in. I feel like they're going to get with somebody like a therapist or something and work through those emotions. If that is not you, Gemini, I like if that is describing you needing to work through your emotions to communicate them, I highly recommend doing that because when we hold emotions in, it does nothing but 
swelter or it swells up inside us it's like we're putting a dam on our emotions but emotions are just energy and motions so if you try to beaver down the emotion i feel like it's just going to keep coming keep coming keep coming it's not it's not being allowed to flow and it wants to flow gemini all right so here we go with your oracle cards these are cards of the rebel deck if you are not a fan of cuss words then i highly recommend you pause here and move on to the next video okay so here we go it says stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop all right Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Okay? So, I feel like, again, we're taking us saying stop. With that four of swords, it's saying stop. Stop communicating. Stop texting. Stop stalking. I feel like whoever this ridiculous person is, they really don't give a care about you. They really don't. Okay? And it's something that intuitively you know... It's something you intuitively intuitively know. The next one says laugh. All right. It says, where the fuck is your sense of humor? When did you become so serious, Gemini? I understand that some Geminis can be very serious, especially the ones closer to the Taurus season. Um, but true Gemini it isn't so serious they look at life as fun if life isn't fun then it's not interesting i i have to learn that because like me i'm a gemini north node if what i do isn't fun then i'm not interested in it then it becomes something that falls off the shelf then it becomes nothing all right so if you're in a partnership or in a relationship or what you know in a situation at work where you're not having fun then you need to really ask yourself what am i doing here why am I talking? Why am I stalking? Why am I texting? Why am I doing this when this is not fun? If you're trying to make it fun, then why are you trying to make somebody that's not fun, fun? Okay? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself. Next one is, you need a good fucking cry. What did I say? That Queen of Cups? Every time I get that card, I'm the one boohooing and bawling my eyeballs out, alright? So, yeah. Queen of Cups, you need a good fucking cry. The, get the ugly cry out. Let that shit go. You, your soul will thank you. All right. See, this is what I feel like. I feel like, you know, like I said before, I feel like somebody's bottling up their emotions. Bottling up their emotions. What you need to work on is letting that shit go. Communicating. Let it out. Let it out. Okay let it out communicate those feelings you don't have to communicate it to the person if you don't want to if that you know that person ain't gonna ever listen don't communicate it honestly don't communicate it to them don't give them the power okay you're the one that's dealing with those emotions all right release it on your own time on your own turf and then like okay say for instance i had this situation before all right I had so much built up emotions regarding to people that hurt me, okay? And those people that have hurt me, all right? See, four of swords comes right after the three of swords, hurt, okay? After they've hurt me, what I decided to do was I decided I didn't want them hurting me no more. So what I did was I wrote each and every one of those people that I ever wanted to say anything to that's ever done me wrong i wrote them a letter now i didn't give it to them because i don't need to give it to them it's the energy all right they're gonna not give a fuck either way they're not gonna listen or want to listen or ever read your words but the energy that it carries your words energy can break the chain of those people that have hurt you in the past okay so after you write this letter I want you to circle every feeling word, sad, mad, upset, angry, disappointed. I want you to circle every one of those words and write them down on a list, all right? Now, after you've circled all those words, 
then I want you to burn that letter. Not burn the person, burn the letter, all right? So what it is that you're doing is you're burning those words into their energy field. You're sending it off into the ethers, letting go of that shit. So when you write this letter, write everything that you ever wanted to say to them, ever. Like how they made you feel, how you know you felt towards them, all right? Let all of it out. Give give yourself that opportunity to cry all right crying is actually really good everybody's like oh it's so weak no it's not it's beautiful okay it's beautiful that's how you know you're healing if you can just cry and let it out okay so that is what we have here all right I want you to get some really good rest during this eclipse season, all right? The new, the, I think the next eclipse is happening. It's a lunar eclipse. Um, I think it's in Taurus. Could be in Scorpio. I forget. No, it's in Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to happen, I believe, on the 15th, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in, and see you guys next time around. Mwah and namaste.